it is December 11. Oops. Um. So we finished up like a shitload of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen! Wow, uh, Gourmet King is like really far behind. Is he supposed to be that far behind? I'm scared. Let me. Let me check. That's not. I'm not pressing the right buttons. At all. Why am I pressing the wrong thing? Someone explain to me. <laughs> there, jeez. Oh, it's the moon. Moon. No, apparently I'm okay. Alright, good. Sorry. Can you hear everything okay? Hopefully. That is pretty cook. Oh my god, wait. Exam start next Monday, but I also forgot my drink in the freezer, so ah, I should run and get that. Be right back.
at all this Pokemon talk. Yeah, it spilled over, so I had to put another drink in the fridge. What do you want to do? Exams start next Monday, so let's go over some historically significant years. 645, the Taika Reform. 710, the Heijo Kyo was established. 794, the Heian Kyo was established. I'm going to skip forward a few hundred years. 1185, Battle of Dan no Ura. 1192, the Kamakura Shog Shogunate. What is that word, Shogunate? What is that? It's established. I don't know what that is. Oh, we're getting close to the Age of the Samurai. Or is it a Japanese word? Then it's Shogunate. I don't know anymore. Just upset. So it's 1212, 1212, 12. Wait a second. Why am I going all the way around? Oh wait, because this isn't really a shortcut. Well then. I messed that up. Leveling up. Rank up, rank up. Yes! I don't know what rank this is though. Might be on number nine. Mm. I made my decision. I'm going to live with my mom. Since she has to cook and clean and still go to work, I want to help out too. I don't have to worry about dad. Even without me around, I think dad will be okay on his own. So, Mom and I are gonna move pretty soon. Sorry. We'll still be friends though, right? We're friends forever. Best friends forever! Forever and ever and ever, okay? You can't ever forget about me. Promise, okay? Next time we spend time with her, hopefully it's level 10. Hopefully, because she's the one that I was running behind on, so it'd be nice. I'll see you again once I'm done getting ready, okay? Where have you been? I guess it's not that easy. Knowing what's going to happen, it's almost too much to bear. So, have you been studying for the exams? Nope. 
me neither. It's a little late to start studying, but let's try to do our best. I was thinking about the connection between what Ikutsuki-san and ryoji kun both told us, and then everything finally made sense. Ikutsuki-san made us fight the Twelve Shadows in hopes that the Appraiser would return. And by doing so, he managed to fuse ryoji kun who was inside you, with the Twelve Shadows. And that's what ryoji kun appeared to us as the appri- That's when, sorry. As the Appraiser in a completed form. Oh, okay. It'll be hard to go back to the way things were. How can we act normally, knowing what we know? Dude, I'm in serious trouble. I haven't studied at all for the exams. Have you? Not at all. That's why we're buddies, man. Let's fail together. <laughs> yeah, Mitsuru told us we shouldn't worry about Nyx. She said we should just act like everything's normal. So that's exactly what Junpei's doing by not studying for the exams. But you should do okay on the exams, right? What about you? Oh, I'm good to go. I've been studying every day. I'm good to go because I'm smart. I forgot to do something. This room is really too small to practice in. <sighs> but come to think of it, I don't have to practice in secret anymore. I don't live on the first floor in this dorm, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. I chose a long weapon so I wouldn't lose to an adult's reach. But the longer the weapon, the better it is for taller people. Ow! Ow! I hit my shin again. I hope I get taller soon. Whew. Maybe I should drink more milk. Uh, it hurts my stomach sometimes, though.
want, I'll put you in a trance And let's party, only get your body Want that body, want that body Make sure you don't hurt nobody I say, hey, hey, hey Fill in the body with a burning desire Yeah, get up off of that thing I gotta go here. I'll try. Sorry. Naganaki Dori. Wow. So Minari Sushi, join your hands? No? What? Which one is the, uh, relationship fortune? Classmate. Yukari. You will have very good luck. No financial worries and great health. I just found 10,000 yen! Wah! Good day, good day. We're almost done with Yukari, so. Sup, dude? Exams start tomorrow, huh? Ha! <laughs> this is the first time an exam's taken my mind off of something else. Usually it's the other way around. Exams, exams, exams. Here I go. We can do it. Well, it's not for you. It's for people that don't know. What year did the Battle of Danoura begin? Oh, shitty balls. Uh, I think it was this one. Damn it! Well, forget you, man. Now I gotta get the rest right. What? That is really weird. Which element is found in ozone? Ha! Ha! Oxygen! Yay! <laughs> Science. I'm not good at anything. Mm -hmm. Which rule relates to Lawrence Force? Shit. Shit. Lawrence Force. Uh. 
Following Fuyuatsu Tomete. Mm, Fuyuatsu Tomete. What is Fuyu again? Plural is formed correctly. Sheeps! The answer is always sheeps, please. Please. still ace it, that will make me very happy. Please. Even though I got like three answers wrong. Dude, all my energy's gone. Call a taxi, I can't walk home. Just kidding, I'll manage. What? looking back nostalgically on these times. Did something happen? I'm just tired. There's no need for you to worry. Since my father passed away, I've been faced with many difficult problems. My inheritance, the future of Kirijo, and the expectations of everyone involved with both. Most likely I won't be able to attend college or begin a profession. I'll have to find another path. Say, Sanbando, what are your thoughts on marriage? It's the result of love. <laughs> You're so straightforward. However, I'm a Kirijo, I can't read. I cannot simply make a decision according to my emotions. An agreement between two parties such as marriage must be carefully considered. 
My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons, but as time passed, they slowly grew to love each other. I don't consider them unfortunate. Love comes in all different forms. Do you disagree? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> no. I'm not very good at romantic relationships. Besides, I don't have any spare time to devote to another. Why are you offended? I can't believe the library's closing and we're still here. <sighs> Talking in the library, I'm not settling a very good I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. We should go. I'll see you later. Mitsuru wants to know more about you. Your relationships become more intimate. Ooh, so you did like me asking you out. We gotta take you out for Christmas. Welcome back. After exams were finished, I went for a walk around town. The number of the lost is increasing. I saw them everywhere I looked. Perhaps that has to do with the fall. We have to do something. Yes, I agree. We must continue going to Tartarus until the very end. Whether our opponent is a shadow or whether it is fate, we will need to be strong to win. Cauldrum, do you remember if Elizabeth calls you again after, like, during these months about Tartarus, or does she not? Because I really, I can't remember, and I don't know if I should go or not, because I don't know if I'd be wasting my time. But I got to, like, one of the top floors of the disco place, that's what I like to call it. <laughs> the, like, super colorful floor. And now I don't know if I just have to go back, or if I have to wait for Elizabeth to tell me there's been a change in Tartarus. I have no idea. I thought you played this. Well, never mind. I know, I've played it too, and I, I don't remember, because it's been too long since I played it. Never mind, then. Yes, who is it? It's me. Oh. You don't stop by very often, senpai. Is something wrong? No. I just wanted to talk. Ah, Are you feeling won't we? Hey, are you teasing me? No! Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this Nyx is like. Hey, do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, isn't it, Senpai? To talk about our decision? I... I guess it is. <laughs> You're so easy to read. I've made my decision as well. Kirijo is making great strides to turn itself around. After I graduate, I plan to assume leadership of the group and continue where my father left off. I cannot turn back now, even if I wanted to. But what if you die? If I die defeating Nyx, then the Kirijo group will have to continue on without me but I am confident they would fulfill my wishes. Ryoji said Nyx can't be defeated, but I kind of wonder about that. I don't think our special member can be killed either. I agree. Death dwelled within him, amplifying his abilities, though he was exceptional to begin with. He's an interesting guy, huh? Yes, he is. You know, if things don't work out, 
I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, it doesn't matter whether or not we die. All that matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Does your decision have anything to do with your father? Hmm, a little. But it's more about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, when we were in Kyoto, you asked me to stand by your side. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. We will fight together, Yukari. Together. What do you think the true meaning of Christmas is? Consumerism. Um, well, I guess from a business perspective that's true. The Christmas spirit should put a smile on everyone's face, so let's be happy. Can I answer that again? <laughs> Peace on Earth. That's what I think, too. The Christmas spirit... Blah, 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 she said it already. But for real though, consumerism. Let's be real. Little tree. for our exam results. Oh, you don't have a personal vote, Kay? Because, like, people are pretty quiet right now. I scored the highest even though I got, like, three answers wrong. Aw, yeah. Aw, yeah. Oh no, right, let's begin. Tohokami Emitama. 
Today we'll finally talk about magic right here in Japan, though I'm sure you think you're familiar with it already, you probably aren't. The view that magic is a dubious subculture is becoming more common. But what is swept into the corners of society today was once central to Japan. Oh my god, guess what? I'm gonna go check on that new drink that I put in the freezer to make sure it doesn't overflow. Be right back really quick, sorry. that magic was invented in Japan. After all, Himiko of Yamataikoku was a shaman. She reportedly used magic called Kido to control the country. Sadly, we have no way of knowing what kind of sorcery that was. The same is true for Prince Shotoku, who established a centralized government. He practiced Onmyodo, so in a sense, he was also a shaman. With origins like this, magic was ma uh, naturally sorry, woven into the very fabric of Japan. In the Heian period, for example, the Bureau of Onmyo was established for Onmyoji to expel evil spirits and evil spirit and give spiritual advice, sorry. You may be familiar with that from the legend of Abe no Seimei. Even in the Age of the Samurai, magicians played their part. Many generals who studied divination and military tactics could be considered magicians. Are you all listening? No, really not. I'll test you on how closely you've been paying attention. Get it wrong and you'll hear more taboo phrases. It's always important. What sorcery was Himiko said to have used? Himiko? Kido. Very good. Thank you, Kotodama, for that one. Kotodama. The trend of tying magic to the people. <laughs> Sorry, that was a... Uh, that was a... Dang and Rafa thing. Continued to the Edo period, but the new government formed during the Meiji Reformation stamped it out. Tsuchimikado Shinto, which had been revived during the Edo period, faded away. I really, I don't care, but... Everything's just blah, 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 blah. Junpei! This is bullshit, man. Who cares about test results when the world is coming to an end? Either way, it's depressing news. We should be Max in Yukari right now. Max in Yukari. Are you walking back by yourself? I'll come with you. I was hoping you'd say that. Then, wanna come to my room? Yay! Did it. Nailed it. Nailed her. No, no, not yet. For some reason, I'm feeling so nervous. Even though it's you, Mustukun. Everyone's in their room, too. I hope no one finds out I snuck you in here. If I accidentally scream, everybody will hear me. Why would you scream? What am I saying? Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Too late. Hey, don't be such a pervert. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, yeah, I wanted to give you something. This is for you. Obtained Yukari's strap. You know what it is, right? It's the strap from my cell phone. I got it at the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It's been my special keepsake for many years. 
ever since my dad bought it for me. Whoa, Yukari, you're giving it to uh, Are you sure? I used to talk I used to talk to the toy figurine attached to it when I was here in my room. <laughs> you must think I'm nuts, huh? But as I got to know you, Mustukun, I talked to my little friend less and less. That's not the reason I gave it to you, though. I I'm only gonna say this once, okay? Mustfukun, I love you. Phew! I said it! Yukari has professed her love for you, and it seems she wants your love in return. I got... I, I got a surprise for you, Yukari. <laughs> I love you too. Thou art I, and I am thou. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the lover's arcana hath been set free. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Cybel, the ultimate form of the lover's arcana. That'll make you scream. Oh dear! That's so wrong! <laughs> Why did I even say that? No! Let's not. <laughs> when all of this is over, we should do something fun, don't you think? Hey, don't make any plans for tonight, okay? I want to spend some time together, just the two of us. Hey! I'm blushing, aren't I? It looks like you're sharing a special evening right now, actually, to be quite honest. <laughs> that awkward hug he does is like the cutest thing ever. Oh. Hey! We weren't totally just in your room or anything. Today's December 21st. Yeah, I wonder why she remembers that. There are less than 10 days until New Year's Eve, but for some reason I'm not scared at all. Well, maybe I'm a little scared, but I'm still gonna fight. Win or lose, I'm gonna give it my all. Cute. Special event, yep. So there's another social link down. Hopefully we can finish Hangman on time because I am, like I said, I am behind and I'm really, really hoping that it doesn't interfere with anything and we can just finish it up okay. Please, please, please. You spent a special event with Yukari. I gotta save, um, relatively soon, like either on the 23rd or the 24th or something, because for the Christmas event, I'm gonna see if I can bring Mitsuru. Oh, great. It's chilly today. Great, you're back. Miss Onishi left early, so I'll be teaching today in her place. I think today we'll learn about near-death experiences. There's no real reason for it. They've just been on my mind. Now, a near-death experience is defined as something an individual experiences just before death. Is it true insight into the afterlife, or simply a tick of the brain? Opinions vary, but it is true that near-death experiences have been a hotly debated topic for some time. There are a few surviving records of ancient near-death experiences. According to the writings of Plato, a resuscitated soldier experienced the afterlife as a spirit. A similar incident was reported in Japan by ethnologist Kunio Yanagita in the Tono Monogatari. Psychologist Carl Jung wrote that in his own near-death experience, he saw a vision of the Earth from afar. I'm sure you've heard your own stories from famous or inf infamous individuals. I have a few first-hand reports with me today. Let me read you some of them. I felt as if my soul was detached from my body. I met a friend who had already passed away. I saw my whole life flashing before my eyes. I saw the most brilliant light. I was bathed in light. I experienced complete and total happiness. This is called euphoria. These kinds of reports are typical. Some have attempted to make direct recordings of near-death experiences. Researcher Kenneth Ring has tried to quant quantify near-death experiences with a weighted core experience index. Modern effects have led to a new theory of near-death experiences which goes like so. If an individual who's dying denies that fact, he eventually realizes that death is a reality that he must accept and becomes angry. 
As a result, he'll try to do anything he can to extend his life. But the futility of this leads to depression. In the end, he accepts his fate. Although we may initially deny death, we'll accept it in the end. That's just how we humans are. Is everyone listening? It's not every day you hear a lesson like this. Here's a test. Ugh. What is the feeling of happiness in a near-death experience called? Euphoria. Yugoslavia. Yeah, that's totally the answer. Good work. That is correct. You'll have a happy school life. Good for me. Oh, I skipped that. Whether or not that's true, there's an ob observably low, sorry, lower fear of death in those who have been through one. Perhaps this is because near-death experiences are surprisingly free of pain and suffering. But this is not to say I'd want any of you to seek one out. Use the time we have here wisely, okay? Well, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ugh. We're dead. Mitsuru, yay! I'm free. We're gonna be hanging out with Mitsuru. My favorite thing. Let's go, let's go, run, run, run! She's giving me a reward. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Here we go. It's so easy. You simply purchase a ticket at the window and you can watch a movie. It may sound strange, but I've been eager to experience a film in an actual theater. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I don't feel like my view was compromised in the least. I find it interesting that so much thought is put into the design and construction of a movie theater. Glad you enjoyed it. Thanks to you, Sanbando. I've always felt too uncomfortable to come here alone. I don't think I would normally have this type of conversation. But it seems to me that Yukari is the type of girl who wouldn't feel inhibited watching a movie by herself. She's also more suited to ride a motorcycle. A motorcycle? Yes, I believe you've seen it before. I used to use it when I provided support for the team. However, I didn't purchase it solely for that purpose. With a motorcycle, I can go where I want, when I want, all by myself. It's my modest attempt at rebelling against my restricted life. I had planned to get rid of it after it was damaged, but I decided to have it repaired instead. It may be a bit of an exaggeration to say I cherish it, but I do enjoy riding it when I have time to. Let's go for a ride. Together? Just the two of us? Can you ride a motorcycle, or do you plan to sit on the back? <laughs> Either way, it would be a lot of fun. Thank you. I feel much better. She's so cute, though. Oh no, I forgot to do something yesterday. Great, I hope this doesn't affect me. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. I don't think it will, though. I don't think it will. I think I'll be good. If you don't have any objections, I'd like to stay here with you for a little while longer. And then we left? What? But she just said she'd like to stay. Why would we leave? Welcome back. Whoa. 
<laughs> Koto-chan's as happy as ever, even though it's cold. Sorry, even though it's so cold. Hey, Mustfukun. A shrine may be an odd place to bring something like this up, but... Do you have any plans for Christmas? Um, assuming you're free, of course. I, I have some preparations to make. Oh, um... No, Fuka. I have to spend Christmas with Mitsuru. Welcome back, Koro-chan. Do you want a bath again today? I'll clean you right up. Bark -a -bark -a -bark. I hope my opportunity wasn't yesterday or I'm going to be so pissed. I'm not saving, just in case. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know when I saved, though. Is it the night of Yukari's Max Social Link, or... Let me see... Today's the Emperor's birthday. There's no school. Hey, happy birthday, Hidetoshi. <laughs> oh. I thought you were going to go visit your mother's grave. Oh, hi, Sonata-san. Is this where you should be? Well, I was planning to, but when I thought about what I was going to say to her, it just didn't feel right. There are things I still need to do before I talk to her again. Yeah, same here. I don't have anything I need to tell Shinji right now. I have my own stuff to deal with. An undefeatable enemy, huh? Gosh, I wonder what it's like. You got me. But it doesn't matter, because I've made up my mind. I'm gonna look it straight in the eyes. Straight in the eyes. I like the sound of that. You can count me in, too. Oh gosh, now I have to figure out if I get a level 10 for this, or if it's a spent time. I need to max the social link. Please let me ma match max the social link. Since I'm behind, it's probably not gonna let me. It's probably gonna let me spend time with her. No, I already feel it. Feel it. Damn it! days until New Year's Eve. Have you made up your mind yet, Mustfusan? Well, I have. I'm going to fight. When I thought about it, I realized that there really wasn't a choice to be made. I don't want to have to tell my mom and Shinjiro-san that we failed. Gugh. Oh, this is the night, apparently. Let's see. The Christmas event is tomorrow. Or well, Christmas Eve. Koro-chan always looks happy when it, blah 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 derp. Koro-chan always looks happy when we get a holiday. I wonder if it's because it means everyone's at the dorm. Hey, I have a question, but it might sound weird. You do know what day tomorrow is, right? I'm gonna have something ready, just in case, if you have time. Um, well, I'll tell you the rest tomorrow. No! <laughs> Don't tell me it's not gonna happen. Hey, there he is! 
Whoa, your nose is all dirty. Come here and let's get you clean before we go home. Don't fail me now. Come on, Mitsuru. Wait, no one called? Wait, what? What do I do tomorrow then? Did I miss the... Did I miss the... Did I... Did... Did... Uh, I guess I'm gonna find out. Here we go, moment of truth. Are they gonna call in the morning and then... Please call in the morning. Oh, it's school in the morning. What the shit? Today's December 24th, Christmas Eve. It's an important day in Europe and America. Although unlike in Japan, December 25th, Christmas Day is even more important. Do you all know why we celebrate Christmas in the first place? In Japan, Christmas Eve is just a day for couples to spend time together and give gifts. It's interesting that a day which is celebrated worldwide is observed differently from country to country. Another example is Valentine's Day. Try looking it up online if you're interested. Okay. Sorry to wait till the last minute, but today's Christmas. Do you want to go somewhere after school? No! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I'm so scared. Is it just you, Kari? I get more text message, right? Do I get more text message? <laughs> Come on, Mitsuru. Fuka, I know this is sudden, but if you're not busy after school, would you like to spend some time together? I feel like a terrible person right now because I love them. I'm sorry. I'm gonna spend some time with Senpai. I hope. Senpai? Don't tell me all the girls are gonna flip and call me. Ah, I apologize for the late notice, but do you have plans for tonight? If not, can you leave your schedule open? I thought we could head down to the city. I know there's a lot of weight. I know there's a lot weighing on our shoulders. But that's exactly why we could use a break, right? Yes. You promised to spend time with Mitsuru. That is literally the worst part. I feel like a terrible person saying no to them. Like, ladies, can't we all hang out? All of us? I know it's a day for lovers, but can't we just... Wait, if it's a day for lovers, does Yukari technically win them? Oh, hi, Senpai. Are you ready, Sambando? You didn't invite anyone else, did you? I hope not. For some reason, I'm in the mood for a quiet evening, but I'll let you choose where we go. You decide to spend Christmas Eve with Mitsuru. Ooh, pretty! You've come to Polonia Mall with Mitsuru. She's wearing her school uniform. We just came straight after school. We didn't go change and stuff. Amazing. I've seen Christmas decorations before, but these are so beautiful. I think you're beautiful. Stop teasing me. Do you want to walk around a little? <laughs> you walk around and enjoy the lights with Mitsuru. So cute. It's nice to walk and talk with you like this. I'm usually stuck at business parties making small talk with presidents and CEOs. Here? He, oh, here? <laughs> I said it weird. Here, I want you to have this. Champagne, Mitsuru! <laughs> I'm underage! <laughs> I specially ordered it for you. I hope we can enjoy it together someday. Someday. You have something that might make, 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 make Mitsuru happy. What kind of gifts does Mitsuru like? Does anyone know? Mitsuru. Hmm. Yes. 
Shanty. She apparently really likes the goggle-eyed doll. Idol. Sorry, goggle-eyed idol. Oh, I see you have something for me. Hmm. It's absolutely lovely. Thank you. I'll cherish it forever. Oh, it's only money. <laughs> I'm glad we could be together today. I feel so calm and peaceful. Thanks to you. Um, I feel like I need to tell you something. 